Greetings, gentlemen and ladies, and welcome this week to Agrestal Vestige yet again, where we are vested in all things Agrestal. My name is Tom, and the blended Scotch whiskey that we have for you this week is none other than Chevis Regal, 12 year old. Wow, an age stated blended Scotch whiskey. You don't see that that often. This is probably one of the most popular or purchased blended whiskeys in the world. I mean, it, it, it competes with the Johnny Walker line, you know, really. Uh, everywhere you go, somebody's got a bottle of Johnny Walker and they got a bottle of Chevy's Regal. Every little shop and every little nook and cranny in every country you go to, this is there. Why is that, you say? You say, ooh, if it's everywhere and everybody buys it, it must be absolutely brilliant. Well, let's see. Let's see. Oh, screw cop, screw, screw cap. <coughs> Excuse me. Chevy's Regal, 12 years old, is bottled at... <coughs> 40% ABV. Calls itself the Prince of Whiskies. On the back, I'm reading the label. The first thing the back says is a smooth rich and generous blend of precious malt and grain whiskies matured for a minimum of 12 years in selected cask. Of course they're going to be selected because you have to select them to know to, to put it into anything, right? Not select casks. Selected cask. That's what it says here. Uh, enjoy our blah 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 Chevis Brothers blah 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 right anyway the first thing that strikes me well there's many things that initially strikes me uh, the first thing that struck me was the outrageous and exorbitant price for a blended scotch whiskey this is around 60 pounds dollars euros that's outrageous that is it better be good is all I'm saying the second thing that struck me look at that what does that look like to you you see that I'll hold it to the light maybe you can see that real orangey glow When's the only time you get that orangey glow? It's when there's an awful lot of caramel E150A colorant artificial chemical added to it to give it this deep, rich color. And obviously it's going to be heavily chill filtered because that's what they do. Anyway, I'm going to nose this. We're just going to see. Keep an open mind, you know. Um, <laughs> oddly enough, you don't get the real grain forwardness that I was expecting, you know. <laughs> the, the first thing that hits me is graham crackers. For those of you who know what graham crackers are, uh, that's the first thing that, that strikes me. And like those cordial cherries you get at, uh, at Christmas time. Over ripened orchard fruits. Vanilla. Hints of butterscotch, hints of caramel. Subtle oak. A bit of cinnamon. 
slightly herbal. But after you swirl it around a bit, that, that strong grain starts to appear. Hmm. Okay. Let's give it a go, shall we? The first thing you get is the heat. It's a wee bit hot. Very grain rich on the palate. Not so much on the nose. It's like chili powder. You know, that spicy, hot, chili powdery grain richness. Uh, Fermented grapes, touch of cocoa powder, hints of caramel and vanilla, hints of maltiness. Um, just a slight touch of clove, maybe. Slight touch. The finish it's short it doesn't go anywhere you get that mild clove and maybe a touch of honey the 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 nose has very little uh to do with the the, the palate the arrival development and the finish goes nowhere well i mean i have had whiskeys like that before and i've added a bit of water and it's opened things up and brought things out because of the grain witchiness, I'm going to add two milliliters of water to this pour. And uh, let that just meld about there for a little bit. And uh, <coughs> while that's doing that, what else can we say about Chevis Regal? Not much, really. I mean, they make several expressions of this. Uh, all of them are ridiculously overpriced uh, for what they are. Look, you can get competent, not just competent, really, really, really good single malts for cheaper than you're paying for this chill filtered colored blend of grain rich whiskey you you can get uh uh glen murray you can get uh uh aaron 10 year old uh even if you don't want to do single malts you can you can do a uh, blended malts hogshead sheep dip lots of them i can go on and on and on there are so many malt whiskies single and vetted out there that just far surpass the quality of this and I'll tell you what the price of this was about the same price as I paid for Campbelltown Lock now I know we haven't gotten into blended malts vatted malts or single malts yet on this channel we're going through the blends at the moment but that's one of probably one of my most favorite whiskeys ever and I can buy a bottle of that when it's available and you can find it or I can buy this I mean, there's, there's, there's no comparison. This is made for people who want to be seen as whiskey drinkers, but who are not, in fact, consumers of quality whiskey. They don't like whiskey. They just want to be seen as whiskey drinkers. You know, clink, clink, cheers, cheers, you know, with your, 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 your group of friends and all that. I've got a bottle of, you know, 18 year old Chevis Regal. It cost me 90 million. Ooh. I 
after adding the water on the nose a bit of apple a bit of pears it's like a tea biscuit with honey drizzled over it yeah on the palate It tastes real carbonated, actually. It's not. But you know, that flavor you get after drinking carbonated beverages like Coca-Cola or whatever, you get that sort of flavor, almost fizzy, this almost fizzy flavor, especially in the aftertaste. And on the mid palate too. But it's, it's like a like a soda, Coca-Cola. It, it tastes carbonated. Strawberry carbonation. It's like a strawberry pop. <coughs> <coughs> the finish is short. It goes nowhere. And after adding the water, the finish... It... <laughs> It's like a cheap beer. It gives you that cheap beer aftertaste. I mean, none of this is blended together properly, in my opinion. Like I said, this channel is nothing but Tom's opinion. There'll be many of you out there who violently disagree and who love this stuff. And for those of you out there who think that, good luck with that. Good on you. Enjoy it. Uh, personally, I don't think this is worth my money. As a matter of fact, I, I feel raped and pillaged having bought this bottle. Be because that was an exorbitant price and it delivers absolutely nothing in the way of smells and tastes. Nothing whatsoever hints of this and hints of that that don't even meld well together my opinion it's slightly better than the imperial 12 that i reviewed a few weeks back but only just I'm not going to quibble here. 48 out of 100. That's a blended Scotch whiskey mark. And and I, I, I think that's where it should be. 48 out of 100. This is Tom with a Grestle Vestige. Please like and subscribe. And hey, if you disagree or if you agree, leave comments. I always like reading those. And I do personally read each and every one. Until next time. Cheerio.